Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about my hairspray audition process. First off, a couple things to update you on. First of all, I booked a holiday to Mykonos in the Greek islands, which I'm super excited about. That's not until October, so I've got a long wait for that. However, something even more exciting happened yesterday. Um, as a lot of you will know, if you've got me on social media, if you haven't, here they are. Um, Hairspray has been announced. Yep, the new dates for Hairspray are out. We are now opening in the London Coliseum on the 22nd of June, which is super exciting. I honestly cannot wait. Also, I want to apologize that I've not been on here much. I've had real problems with trying to upload videos. I have already filmed this video a couple of times for you guys. I wasn't pleased with how one of them turned out. Then the other one I was super happy with, I went to upload and nothing, my phone just just wouldn't let me upload it and I don't really know why, but fingers crossed it's sorted now. So I will be making many more videos in the upcoming weeks. So please stick around for that. So anyway, on to the video. So I first found out about my audition for Hairspray back in the summer of 2019, which is a super long time ago. I was actually currently at that point in Oklahoma still. So I got an email from my agent basically saying I have an audition for Hairspray. It had the time, date, what it was like. So it was the dance round and the singing round if I got through the cut. And it also said what songs I need to bring. So I think for the first round of Hairspray, it said we had to bring two contrasting songs, one 60s pop song, and then something in contrast to that. So the songs I took are I Only Want To Be With You. So I was like, I only wanna be with you. Do, do. I don't know what it is that makes me love you so. That one. So if you ever have an audition for Hairspray, that song's a good one to take. Then in contrast to that, I'm pretty sure I took Astonishing. They didn't make me sing it, so it didn't matter, but yeah, I think I took Astonishing because it's obviously quite a big sing and a lot of Hairspray is like quite belty. So I thought, mm, shows off my range and shows I can belt. So why not bring it? They didn't hear it, so it didn't really matter, but good songs to take. So the first audition came around and I had to get the 6am train to London from Haven't, which was super early. I had to get up very early to obviously do my hair, makeup, make sure I've got everything, eat. Like, it was a stressful morning. <laughs> anyway, so I got to London and I made my way to the audition, which I can't remember where the audition was actually. Really sorry about that guys, but it was somewhere in London. So the first round was dance and we did it to the nicest kids in town, which was a really, really full out, energetic, fun routine. I really enjoyed it and a lot of the time in auditions like they're so nerve-wracking and so stressful you don't actually get to enjoy them because you're so worried about oh remembering the dance but I just remember being in the room for all my hairspray rounds actually and just having the best time like it was so much fun but yes we learned nicest kids in town so we did the routine for about half an hour we were learning it and then for the other half an hour we were basically performing it so how we did it was in groups of four and then we did it twice through straight away that was a killer because obviously like the routines like proper fast it required a lot of stamina to say the least <laughs> but hairspray's all about energy fun smiles um so you just had to really enjoy yourself and just absolutely go for it so then after we danced it we had like a 10 minute break where we all grabbed some water then they basically they did a cut and they read people's names out on the list who they wanted to stay and hear sing and my name was on the list i remember just being like what I was so, I was so happy, I was buzzing. I was really surprised actually because there were a lot of good people in my audition and a lot of them got cut. Not many people got kept to sing. So I was so, so happy about that. Um, so yeah, I went in to sing and I sang I Only Want To Be With You, which they really, really liked and actually, they were really good in the room because they worked through the song with me. So basically they said, right, amazing, but can we hear that song, same song, but just a few keys higher? Let's just test your range and stuff. And I was like, yep, sure thing. So I sung it a couple of times for them, as like going up keys and stuff. And then we did some belting uh, just to see if I could hit this certain note, which I'm guessing now thinking back on it, I'm guessing is probably as high as Tracy sings or as high as like the show goes. I'm not too sure, but 
yeah, so they just wanted to test my range. And then, yeah, that was it. Really quick, in and out. Uh, then I was free to go home. So then after the audition, I got the train back to Chichester. So while I was on the train, on my way home back to Chichester, I got a lovely phone call from my agent saying that I have made it through another round. I was through to round two, which was exactly a week later. Um, exactly the same thing, but I was given tracing material to learn. So I had to learn two scenes and then... I think it was three songs, Good Morning Baltimore, Welcome to the 60s, and the first verse of You Can't Stop the Beat, which obviously is the one that Tracy sings. Um, yeah, so I had a week to learn all that content. Obviously, during this week as well, I was performing in Oklahoma, so obviously it was a very hectic week for me. So, round two happened, and same thing, it was a 10 a.m. audition, so I got the six o'clock train to London. And again, the first round was dance, but in this case, it was You Can't Stop the Beat we learned, which was so much fun. That was, hands down, the most fun audition I've had, because there was a lot of people in the room, but they weren't doing a cut, so it really was just like a free workshop really and we got to do like a bit of pilot work we got to know everyone in the room it just felt very relaxed and chilled which i loved because i was like i hate pressure i was so nervous because i was like oh my god i've got this far i really don't want to be cut um but yeah it was just a lot of fun so something i loved about the hairspray auditions is they not only had a piano they had drums so it was like a little mini band and you almost felt like you were in the musical already, which I think really helped because it brought everyone's energy up and it just, the atmosphere in the room was amazing and I really, really enjoyed that. So then after the dance round, I had to sing and I sung Good Morning Baltimore a couple of times through, I think. And then they just heard one scene and then that was it. That was all they really needed to hear. Then obviously I got on the train back home and then yet again, I got a phone call from an agent basically saying that I was through another round, which by this point, I mean, I was buzzing. I was so happy. But this round was a Tracy round. So basically everyone in that round was going up for the role of Tracy. By this point, uh, I knew that I wasn't in for Tracy. I knew that I was in for like first or second cover. Um, but I knew I was in for mainly like an ensemble role, Shelley. Then a week later, I went up for my Tracy round. Obviously by this point, it was so nice because I'd had a few rounds already. I was getting to know like the panel and how they work. And again, the Tracy round was so chilled. I loved it. It was so much fun. It was like a little workshop because basically what we did is we learned You Can't Stop the Beat, but the beginning section, so the bit that Tracy sings, so it's like the You can't stop an avalanche as it races down the hill, that bit. But yeah, so we did that bit and basically what we had to do is we learned all the movement. Well, I say movement, it's like a full on dance. The role of Tracy, I'm sorry, hands down, requires the most stamina in any role, I swear, because not only is she singing these belty songs all the way through the show, she's then dancing near enough in every number that she sings. It's ridiculous. I mean, Lizzie, who's playing Tracy, hands down, she is just incredible. Absolutely insane. But Tracy is such a difficult role and I don't think people realise. Yeah, it's hard. Then after the dance round, we went in and sung. So I sung, pretty sure it was the same as the second round. I sung Good Morning Baltimore and just did the same scene for them again. So that was really nice, really quick in and out. And then on the train home again, got another phone call from my agent saying that I'd made it through to the finals. I, oh, I couldn't believe it. I was so, so happy, um, but also so nervous because basically the finals weren't until like a month later. Uh, so that was gonna be like a long gap of not being seen by them so yeah but I was just yeah I was you can imagine very very happy Imogen that day <laughs> so a month later the finals come around so I remember where the finals were held because it was at the Dominion Theatre Studios which I just remember thinking oh my god this is so cool like I'm actually auditioning in the Dominion Theatre actually for the finals I turned up so early because I was so scared of being late I think my audition was at like 12 and I'm pretty sure I turned up about 10 two hours early um not only that I turned up before all the casting panel I turned up before people that even run the theatre I turned up before the people auditioning in the round before me I was that early I was keen, I don't know what else to say. So for the finals, basically it was a dance round and a singing round. Um, again, we went in for the dance round and there were so many people there. Like I thought the finals, I thought maybe like, I don't know, 15 girls maybe? But no, there was like 
at least 30 girls still there and there was only I think five rolls including a swing so like yeah you can imagine it was um it was very nerve-wracking because you're up against so many people and everyone was amazing I was literally like how are the panel going to cast this because there are so many amazing people in this room it was really it must have been such a difficult decision for them still very grateful to have got the role <laughs> so basically we did nicest kids in town also forgot to mention so for the finals of hairspray we actually had the american creative team over so like the broadway creatives it was oh my god i couldn't believe that i was actually like i'm actually dancing in front of some very famous well-known people in the industry that was another thing to add to the nerves because by this point they hadn't seen any of us like so it was pretty much their decision not only did i have to impress the people that had already seen me i then had to impress the american team um that was what i was more nervous about because if they didn't like me they wouldn't have had me it would have been easy it would have been like no not her and then there would have been no more say about it that was that i was very nervous so we did nicest kids in town we did it in groups of four twice through again i think i was in the first group actually this time so it was quite nice because i got it over and done with and then i got to relax and just watch everyone else <laughs> then we had probably like a 15 minute break and then they came in and said basically they want to hear everyone again they don't want to do a cut which was really nice because i was like phew uh because obviously singing is like one of my main things i really wanted to sing for them before they made their decision which is good because i got to um so i went in and i sung good morning baltimore for them and then I did the same scene. I think I just did one scene again, which was very nice because it was nice and quick. I wasn't in there too long because obviously when you're in front of a panel, having about like two or three people was nerve wracking enough. Never known about 20. And I swear I'm not exaggerating. There was, I mean, maybe a little bit, maybe 50. There was probably about 15 to 20 people on the panel. Yeah, you can imagine just, just me, like little me, Imogen, just, stood there singing a song to like 20 very very important people but luckily it all went very well and <laughs> um very quickly which was very nice because i was in and out and then that was done that was it there was no more i could do which was also very nerve-wracking because i was like oh my god i hope i've done enough i really hope i've impressed them so yeah i was free to go after that and then it was the waiting game which actually was probably the worst bit because i just wanted to know so i actually found out about the job probably about two weeks later honestly it felt about two years but <laughs> it was probably actually only about two weeks and then it was basically a phone call from my agent telling me the good news that i had been offered the role of shelly second cover tracy in the west End musical hairspray honestly it still doesn't seem real every time i say it i'm like oh my god i'm like am i lying am i sure i've got it and i'm like no i definitely do <laughs> if anyone does like personally know me you'll know that being in the west end has been my dream since i was probably about two years old um so it's crazy to think i've actually done it like oh it's still like doesn't feel real um but i'm so grateful to be given this opportunity like i really have worked for it i just want to put this out there like i have worked so hard for this for so many years it's just so nice to know that my hard work has paid off anyway guys i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope it wasn't too long i know i've just like talked to you for like 15 minutes um yeah i'm sorry <laughs> But I really hope you enjoyed it. And I know that this is a video that was so highly requested for so long and I've just not got around to filming. Um, so I'm really sorry that it's taken me this long to film it. But I really hope you enjoy it. If you did, I really, really would appreciate a thumbs up or a comment. Or if you haven't already, please subscribe because honestly, you guys, your likes, comments make me the happiest person in the world. And it's just nice to know that you guys are watching and you're enjoying my content because obviously I'm a small channel and I am trying to grow it. So obviously if you are new to my channel, please subscribe because I'll be bringing so many more interesting videos very soon. Do you want to say hello to my YouTube? Now, if you don't like me, subscribe for him because he'll be on my channel a lot and he's my best friend. Now, guys, I'm now going to love you and leave you and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll see you back shortly for my next video. Bye!